Are there any gamers in the house? Does anyone know there's any gamers here? Because I'm a gamer, and I'm looking to meet all the other gamers so we can, uh, hate video games together. Because it's Tuesday, it's 8 p.m., and that means it's time for another mini-stream. How's it doing? How it's hanging? It's another Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's time to play some video games. You and me. Well, just me. You're, you... Just me, actually. You you can watch. You can watch if you want, but that, you know, that's it. That's it. You're just gonna watch. That's how this works. That's just how this works. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's not, not enough fool around no more. Let's let's jump right into some video games today. Jump right into this video game. So let's go ahead and set the category. Uh, there we go. Something like this. Something like that should work. And let's play a video game. All right. Okay, every gamer. It's Oops, hold on. No, no spoilers. All right, it's time for Castlevania Circle of the whatever. They're going to play this. I don't think I played this one before. I never played this one. So let's start. Let's go ahead. So I've never actually I've the only Castlevania game I've ever beaten is is Castlevania 4 in the Super Nintendo. I've never beaten any other ones. Um Oh, hold on. Gamers? Hold on, hello? Hello? Okay, if you can hear me, type strangle in the chat. Strangle in the chat. Ty type strangle in the chat if you can hear me. Strangle, okay. For some reason I just dropped like 371 frames. That was weird. That was weird, I don't know why that happened. That's weird. Have I at least played the classic ones? I mean, yeah, I played most of the Castlevanias. I've just never beaten any of them except for the the one I said. Oops, that's not me. Go. There we are. Oh, it's Green World. It is 1830, at an old Austrian castle, from the worshippers of chaos, rise the plea for the return of the Lord of Darkness. Whoa, it, it's melting away, it's melting away! Oh, who's this fucking anime-looking... Like, Eris from Final Fantasy VII decided to become an evil bat lady. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering! The ruler of darkness! Uh... Oh, oh oh It's him! I have waited for this moment! To be awake again! To bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within! Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence! Indeed! Though I lack my full power! We are preparing the right to replenish your power! Stop! You cannot be allowed to taint the world! You... I remember... 
You were one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing to use my nemesis life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone! Oh no! You! Nathan! Master! Father! Donkey! Oh, well, they're pretty much dead. You don't fall that- Oh, never mind, they're perfectly fine. They just landed on their feet like feathers. They didn't bend their knees, they didn't shatter their ankles into a million pieces, they're just fine. They're fine. No, that happens all the time. You, you drop, like, a skyscraper's length down and you're just fine. Hmm, no creatures around here. Q, are you okay? Ha, huh, yeah. We were just brushed aside and ignored. We have to find Master! I'll go. He's my father. Nathan. He'll be in the way. <laughs> Just get out of here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Fallen hole. I want to find Master as much as anybody. All right, gamers. Here we are at Castlevania. We can jump. We can whip. We can fall all the way down, and we can even do this. Wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. Look at all these discarded um, clamshells we fall onto. That's nuts. For a second there, I thought the music from that first little bit that went Dah! I thought it was going to turn into the Yoshi's Island boss music. But it didn't. Alright, so... Let's see. Game Boy Advance Castlevania. The only one I've played is Aria of Sorrow. And I've played multiple hours of that game. Every time I'll play it for a few hours. Attribute and action card. These can be set at the menu screen, DSS option, I don't know what that means. Every time I've played Aria of Sorrow, I play for a few hours in one day, you know, and then I turn in for the day and I never come back to it, so I never finish it. So I'm familiar with the first few hours of Aria of Sorrow, but that's it, that's my experience with Game Boy Advance Castlevanias. But we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. Oh! Oh, there goes all them. Hope that wasn't important up there. I don't think skeletons should be allowed to have bombs. It's potentially dangerous. Can I go in here? This looks like a secret tunnel. Let me in your secret tunnel! Let me in! I can't go in there. It's too secret for me. Alright. Give me your hearts! I'm getting so many hearts right now. This is nuts. I'm, I'm hearting it up right here. The skeleton doesn't even know what's up. He doesn't even know what he's got going on. Oh, we must have like 40 hearts beating in our chest now. Alright, Catagum time, let's see. Yeah, I see you. Nice bomb, idiot. How does a skeleton even build a bomb? I don't think they do. I think this is inaccurate to skeletal lore, and it should be retconned. Can't quite make it up there. This is pathetic. What's my boy's name here? The uh, Vampire Killer. No, Nathan. Nathan, come on, you can get up there. Use your hands to lift yourself up. Nathan, you're pathetic. You're a joke. Oh, I've been spat upon. Hold on. I gotta take care of this bonehead. He dropped a card for me. Mercury. Okay, what do these cards do? They said... Hold on. Look, there's a picture of, like, a Robin Hood. The messenger from the gods has the potential of strength. I don't know what that means. Look, it's Char... Char... Is Char Lizard. He's a lizard bathed in flames. Wow. Okay, uh... Ooh. Ooh, what's our config? Oh, that's boring config. Hmm, I see. Uh... Oh, this is all I've got! Let's see, what do the buttons do? Oh! Uh, okay. Whoa! My whip's on fire! Who did this to me?! I didn't mean to do it! Put me back! I'm not done! Oh my gosh. Someone put a, a wormy brain on the ceiling. This is nasty. This is icky. Should not be happening. Oh, wait, I'm gonna go up there. There we go. Oh, excuse me. I don't need this spit in my life, thank you very much. 
absolutely silly. Ooh. We might as well save our game. We've been working real hard for the past uh, ten minutes. There we go. All right, let's get back out to business. Whipping them boneheads, beating up bats. What more could you want from Castlevania, the video game? This is some banging ass music right now, I'm telling you. This is great. Love what I'm hearing. Oh, come on, Nathan. You can get up there. Do a flip. Oh, you can slide, but you can't do a flip. Can you do like a Mario side hop? Nope. Can't do it. So, uh, so the big, uh, the big hubbub on the internet this week was that I found a knife. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, was that famous, uh, Rage Click Publishing, um, tabloid online posted an article being like, Hey, you should, uh, you should emulate Metroid Dread. And everyone was very upset with them. And of course, by being very upset with them, they spread the article around more so more people can see it and potentially, you know, get shit shut down by Nintendo. So good job, everyone, being mad on Twitter, spreading the link around further. So here's the thing, y'all know I am very pro-emulation. I absolutely support just downloading ROMs of older games and playing them. Like, there's no reason I... If a game is being re-released, or in a collection, or anything, in my opinion, don't, don't buy it, just, just emulate the old version. So... You know, emulators, I'm, I'm good with emulators, I'm good with ROMs, I'm fine with that. What I'm not happy with, and I know this is the whole point of their clickbait article, I know it's the entire point of their clickbait article. I'm not happy with... Pirating and... Um... With, with, with pirating the new Metroid game. Specifically because of Metro how of Metroid. Specifically because of Metroid. Dash boots. Double tap to go fast. But here's the thing. I don't think my position on this is particularly hard to grasp. Metroid has not gotten a lot of big games. You know? Metroid tends to not sell very well in Japan, and Nintendo, of course, isn't big on putting effort into things that don't sell well. So a game like Metroid, when it's brand new, it needs to sell so Nintendo can see, oh, people want this, and then they'll continue to make more Metroid games instead of fucking, you know, P Metroid Prime Hunters Soccer Ball Edition. And that's why it's kind of important that Metroid Dread sells. Now, having said that, I also firmly stand by another thing I have said, and that if you do not... If you feel a company does not deserve your money for one reason or another, then go ahead and pirate their game. Like, if you feel that Nintendo has done something egregious that you do not want to give them money for, like, if you feel that maybe, you know, the whole Splatoon 2 tournament stuff where they were shutting down, you know, free melee, if you think the shit they've been doing with Smash Brothers and fan games and all that, if you think that's too much, and you don't want to give Nintendo money, then go ahead, pirate the game. But I feel like you need to actually have a proper reason behind why you would pirate a brand new game. If you're just doing it for the sake of doing it, because you don't want to pay money for it, but you don't have a good reason for why you don't want to pay money for it, then you shouldn't be pirating it. That's it. That, that, that's... I think I think it's pretty straightforward. How I feel about it. And it makes lots of sense. So, I don't know. I just... One thing that happens, and y'all know this happens a ton on Twitter, is people all bandwagon and make the problem worse by spreading bullshit around more and more and then spreading misinformation and then spreading shitty takes. And stuff like this blows up much bigger than it needs to be. There's no reason anyone even had to read the article from clickbait website, let, let alone 
make it one of the top click things, probably getting said website hundreds of dollars of ad revenue. I think I just picked up some clothes. There we go. So, I, I don't know, I, that's one thing I especially hate about Twitter. But still, yeah. Switch emulation is cool. It's great that you can emulate that stuff and it runs well, and it's cool. But don't pirate a game, a brand new game, unless you have a good reason to pirate it. Especially a game that, you know... From a... a, a, a from a series that doesn't get enough love and that Nintendo has to see that people actually want. That's all it is. And I don't think... I, I, I don't know. I, I look at things like that and to me it's cut and dry, it's simple, it's straightforward. But people make it into like a big shit. People make it into a big, shitty shit, and then it's like, what do you even do about it? Like, for example, this GTA trilogy that's coming out, um, that Rockstar is literally gonna delist the old PC versions off of Steam when it comes out, and the old mobile versions off of their respective stores when they come out, to instead sell you this full price, um, new version of the GTA 3 games. That's bullshit. That's absolute horseshit. And you absolutely should pirate the GTA 3 trilogy. Either the original games or this new trilogy that Rockstar is putting out. Because what Rockstar is doing is horseshit. It's... It's anti-consumer. And it's just them finding a way to squeeze more money out of these old-ass games. <laughs> like, go ahead, pirate the GTA trilogy. Instantly. Day one. Pirate it. They, Rockstar does not deserve your money for this. But Metroid, you know, Nintendo gave... Nintendo gave a third-party company the chance to make a Metroid game. Apparently, it's a really good Metroid game, from what I've seen. Apparently, it's, like, incredible. Personally, unless you believe Nintendo has done something else that they don't deserve your money anymore, I don't think you should pirate that one. That's my personal belief. Oh! But yeah, let's talk about uh, GTA Trilogy a bit, like... You know, the original games haven't been on Steam forever, but, you know, the PC versions have existed for a long time. There... There's big communities around them with lots of mods. And they're great versions that run great on modern computers thanks to, um, you know, community patches and stuff. Rockstar has lately been shutting down a lot of big mods for those old versions, and now they're looking to get rid of them completely from Steam because of their new trilogy. That sucks. That's very shitty of them. Like, that's immensely crap. Let's go to the left. And, you know, the, the, the mobile versions, the phone versions, even though those versions kind of blow, um, it still kind of sucks that Rockstar is taking them off the store, like, who knows? Hold on, I'm just gonna ding on my phone. Sorry, it's Cinco, she wants to know if we want if I want pizza for dinner. Telling her yes. Um, so who knows if these new versions are gonna... Okay, granted the mobile versions aren't particularly good and they have lots of problems, but who knows if these new versions are gonna be good replacements for them. They, I guarantee you they won't run on as many old devices as the current versions do. I wouldn't be as irritated by this trilogy if Rockstar was not taking the old versions out. Is basically what I'm trying to say. If Rockstar was leaving the old versions alone and releasing this trilogy as its own thing, I would not be nearly as mad. I still wouldn't buy them because I'm upset at Rockstar for other reasons, for them taking down big mods for the older games and for them literally suing the Grand Theft Auto 3, um, decompilation project, which is also mega horse shit. 
but I wouldn't be as upset with them if they weren't being bullshit about this, about their old versions. There's a rumor right now that GTA Trilogy is going to cost 70 bucks. It's just a rumor, we don't know for sure, but that's the rumor. Right now on Steam, you can get all three of the original games in a bundle for 30 bucks. That really breaks down what's going on here. It's all about them squeezing more money out of this. Like, yeah, yeah, I know, the rumor is that it's being ported or whatever to the Unreal Engine. We don't know what this is. Is this just the original graphics? With the logic, you know, um, with the logic kind of shoehorned into the Unreal Engine to make it easy to port? Or did they actually go through the trouble of remastering the graphics, making it higher res? We don't know yet. Regardless of what it is, it does not justify taking down the older games. Are they going to block modding support somehow? They can't block modding support, but they can make it very difficult to do so. Um, big stupid moron in the chat. Great name, by the way. If uh, Vice City doesn't work, I recommend going to go to the PC Gaming Wiki. It's a website called the PC Gaming Wiki. Look up Vice City, and it's going to have a whole bunch of different things you can do to make Vice City work on your modern PC. Trust me, they're really good for this sort of thing. Check out that site, check out their entry for Vice City. You'll be able to get Vice City working on your modern computer. PC Gaming Wiki is great. There, Worma just posted a link in the chat. Click on Worma's link, that'll show you exactly how to get Vice City up and running on your modern computer. And we're, and we're obviously sitting, sitting, we're obviously seeing a lot more of this sort of unfriendly thing happening from companies. And it's, it is irritating to be so... to have to deal with this. Like, earlier today I was watching, uh, I was watching a video, it was a stream archive of Germa and Italics playing Far Cry 6. I've not played any Far Cry games since Far Cry 2. I've not watched footage of them. And I watched a bit of Jerma playing Far Cry 6, and to be honest, the game looks like it would be pretty fun to play. On your own or with a friend. But because of the company, because of it being a big-ass game, I just have no interest in giving them cash for it. You know, and I'm sh and there might be a lot of games like that that I'm missing out on just because I don't want to deal with who's publishing it or it being a quadruple A game or whatever it is, you know? So, I don't know, trying to be trying to not be part of the problem can suck sometimes, but I'm not going to fucking cry over not being able to try out Far Cry 6. If I really want to try it one day, I'll probably just, um... I'll go ahead and pirate it. I will go ahead and pirate it if I really, really want to try it one day. Do I feel bad if someone else buys you a new game when you don't want to support the publisher? Um, it depends. If it's just a friend who isn't, like, really into games, or isn't really big into this sort of thing and they don't know any better, I'm not gonna be mad. They don't know any better. You know? Where am I? Uh... Okay, I see a few places we can go. We gotta go find where progress is. Get away from this bad boy up there. Oops. Hold on. Yeah, for me personally, it's not as hard for me, because I tend to enjoy older games, you know, from older generations, and even the occasional indie game here and there from, from modern generations. So for me, it's not that bad. For younger people, it's probably nowhere near as easy to do this sort of thing. Which kind of makes me understand why a lot of people don't boycott companies that they know are bad. And it's a shame, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Very hard to convince a younger person to just be miserable. <laughs> Video games shouldn't make you miserable. That That's another important thing. Alright, 
where was she going? Uh, end of the tunnel, we'll check what's above. One thing I've noticed as I've gotten older is I've had a lot less... And I, I've, I've mentioned this before. I've had a lot less interest in newer consoles and newer games. Any newer game. Like, nowadays, new games. In terms of new games, I tend to only be interested in, like, Nintendo stuff. Okay, we're going the right way. Have I played any of the La Moana games? I have not. Okay, we can't go in here without some kind of move to break this block. Uh, let's head back to that square room and find another path. Oops. Careful, bats. The Hakuna Matata games. I I've heard of those. I've heard of the Kutuna Hotava games, they're great. Careful. Really funny how the Switch OLED was like sold out when everyone online was so upset about it not being a Switch Pro. It's just one of those things that reminds you that the people who are yelling online are just a really vocal minority. It just reminds you, you know? I think it makes sense, though, for the Switch OLED to become the new, more or less to become the new base model for the Switch. Like, there's no reason to buy a classic Switch if you can get a Switch OLED. It's kind of like a half-assed, you know, revision. A half-assed, what do you call it? Um, Half-life revision. You know, the Switch is getting pretty old at this point. Honestly, I've, I'm pretty sure once the next console does come around, that we're probably going to see something that builds off the Switch. Like, I... I just can't see Nintendo ever going back to making a strictly a strictly console or strictly handheld console ever again. I feel like it's always going to be some kind of um, hybrid from now on. Oops! Watch out for the for the boneheads. Okay, where are we going again? Uh, up. Oh right, I can't double jump. Oh crumbs. These skeletons keep giving me their heart, and I want nothing to do with it. Oh! Here again, huh? I guess we should climb a little bit? I don't know if there's any place I can go up here, though, right? Uh, looks like there's a door to the left up here. That would be here, but I don't think I have a way through, right? Oh, crud. Oh, I can't go in there. I don't think I can. And the rest just takes me back up. Okay, well, this, that place is, is an exit. I, I, okay, that makes sense. Oh, well, let's go look for where we're going. Oh! So, all these enemies are Dracula's little minions. Did Dracula just specifically in his brain think up, huh, I, I'm gonna make a skeleton, and he's gonna have red bones. And best of all, He's gonna have a bomb. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to have a red skeleton with a bomb. Oh, Dracula, you're such a crazy vampire. You loony. Okay, Dracula, we need a uh, we need an enemy to stop the bell bonds from destroying us. I want worms to crawl on the ceiling. Oh, um, okay, sir. Um, I don't know how much damage one worm is going to be able to do. A whole bunch of worms! Yes, sir. Um, we, we can we can go ahead and arrange that. He's such a creative man. Still can't double jump. Okay. I must be missing a very obvious way forward. Let's just... Let's just go back. Go back this way. We'll figure something out. 
Hold on, I want this axe. Level up! Aw, oh, crumbs. We're all poisoned again, aren't we? No, I think we're fine. Oh, no, now we're poisoned. Just a little poison. Just a little bit of poison. No problem. It happens. I have to kill this, this gargoyle, don't I? Like, that's what's about to happen, right? Like, that's what has to happen? I'm pretty sure that's what has to happen. Oops. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to kill this gargoyle. I hate him. This 23 damage. Okay. I don't like this fucking gargoyle. I bet he has a way for me to jump higher, though. Look, he has wings. Good news, everyone. I didn't have to kill the gargoyle. All right. Oh, give me my axe! I don't want a freaking knife. Alright, how's this room look again? There's an upper path and a lower path. That upper path is blocked by a stone block. Surprising, right? So we'll just have to continue on the other path and see what we can find. Oh, okay, we're good. No worries. No problems over here. Doing fine. See, this is where the reject skeletons came. These ones weren't red. They didn't have bombs. Dracula didn't want to see them. Didn't want to see them at all. All he wants to see the red bomb skeletons, those are his favorites. Alright. Take another peek at this map. Um, looks like there's an up ways to go, so let's just go over there. Let's head up ways. That seems like a good place to go. Ah, crud. Okay, watch out for Spearbow over there. Alright, we're good. No spear bows to worry about. Ain't no spear bows up in here. Okay, this is probably where we gotta go, let's be honest. Doing good. This is progress. Alright. Give me as much progress as you got, Captain. Ew, it's a mud man. Get rid of him. Gross. I don't know where this mud came from. I don't know if it's artisan uh, mud. Oh no! Get him out of here. Never touch a mud man. Alright, where are we going? Upward. Okay, this is a big old room. Not even gonna stop to look at the map. Let's just poke around. Let's cut up the bone heads. Is there anything over there? Nope, just a wall. Yeah, I gotta keep this in mind. You gotta note where all the holes are. If you don't keep track of the holes, you could get lost. Always remember the holes. Every time. Never lose track of a single hole. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Okay, where am I at? Okay, new zone, new area. You like axes? He didn't like it. A little upset. There's no way to nudge the camera downward, is there? Okay, we're safe. There's floor. It's weird that they took the floor away from me. It was an unfounded fear. Stop touching... Nathan! I, I keep having to check. He has such a generic fucking name that I don't even know who he is anymore. Why can't he have a cool name that everyone remembers, like, uh... Tango. I've been blinded. Alright. Okay, we're making progress. I just had to... I'm not good at memorizing my map. I always have to keep... See? See, I'm checking the map again, even though I just got here. It's like I'm some kind of stupid person. Why Why is there, like, a gr gremlin? 
Dracula, if you can make any any minion you want, why don't you make like sleepy gremlins? Why did you make so many sleepy gremlins? Why didn't you make, like... Why didn't you just put wings on your red skeletons? That would have been a much better use of your time. Ah, big heart. Nailed it. Alright. Oh, boy. Takes damage to save time. Don't worry, boys. We got this. Uh-oh. We're almost in an infinite item loop. You gotta be careful with those. Those can get dangerous. Oh no! We're in an infinite item loop! We're gonna get blipped to hell! This is a disaster! It hurts! Every time his item changes, all his bones break apart and reform! Okay, we're good. Okay, now we're good. Where's my items? Oh, that's big. I don't want to go there. In fact, that leads back to another area, so let's just go ahead and keep climbing. Oh, I don't... What? Popper. I don't like them. They remind me of the gremlins, except less sleepy. That looks like a boss door, like an area door. Let's go down here. I don't like how they're wearing, like, jeans with, like, suspenders. Did Dracula design their, um, their work uniform as well? Does Dracula secretly want to wear jeans with suspenders? There should be- why- why have we not had a redneck Dracula in the Castlevania series yet? I feel like we're missing out. This is definitely a boss room. Fuck. Okay. Where is it? Show me the- that's a Cerberus. I'm- oh, okay, okay! Good- bad- bad dog! Bad dog! Oh, no! It's using its laser beam that Cerberus has in hell! Ooh! Uh... Oh, it's using its Cracko Beam that Cerberus has in Kirby. Oh, that doesn't work. Come on! Nathan, hit him with your whip! Oh, god damn it. Easy. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Whoa! Dogs are the fastest! We're in big trouble here. Do I have any... ...thing? At all? Cure <gasps> poison, recover hearts. Though neither of these things will heal me. Also, who was the fucking... Who was the fucking, like... Dingleberry... At Konami... In the 80s that decided hearts did not equal health when they made Castlevania? MOTHER LOVER! Oh! Oh, come on! Dinosaur has his tongue sticking out. Okay, where are we at? That's not so bad. We can get back over there, no problem. Also, do I have any fancy thing? Nope, still just that. I'm pretty sure if I try to hit Cerberus with a fire whip, it's not gonna really do much in my favor. Considering he is Hell Dog who lives in Hecky Hell. You know, no, I mean, uh, no, I mean, just a thought. Oh. 
I mean, I could try, I just feel like it's gonna be a waste of time. I mean, uh, to be fair, Worm, most dogs are flammable. I just have a suspicion that this one won't be. Let's see. Where does this take me? I don't want to drop down there, because that would be silly. That right, this zone, the redneck hopper zone. Okay, I guess we'll just thanks, thanks for biting my fucking toes, gremlin. So we'll try it. I, I, I don't actually recall that's doing more damage or not. I genuinely don't remember. That was a very good Sega, Sega Genesis sound effect there, Konami. I really liked it. Ooh. Okay, I don't know where he went. Ah, oh, he's shooting his dog laser beams! Okay. Doing more damage, we just have to be a little braver until he shoots his his, his bubbles, his 16-bit bubbles. Okay, there we go. This dog is not very good. I don't think he's a good boy. Oh, okay, I'll take it. There we go! All I had to do was just uh, to be a really good video gamer. Uh, do I get a prize? It's not out here. Can I take some of this gold? Guess not. Oh, what's this? Double received. There you go. That's just what I needed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My whole life is open to me now. Okay, what's this map look like? Yep, plenty of places to go. Let's get out of here. That was on purpose. It was a celebratory uh, skeletal hop. This isn't where I want to go. This could be neat. Alright, what's down here again? I don't even remember. Dozens of mummies. Mummies don't live in coffins, Konami. They live in sarcophaguses. Please get your history straight. I think Dracula, of all people, would know better. I assume he would. I mean, I figure he would. I, I don't know for sure if he knows much about Egypt. For all we know, he, he could be very anti-Egypt. He just never bothered learning it. It was his least favorite favorite um topic, subject in school. Maybe he never watched Mummies Alive on, on Fox Kids. Who knows? Okay, where are we at? I see where we be. The abyss stairway. Oh boy. Hmm, up or down? Kinda scared of down, let's go up. Not gonna lie, down is a little threatening right now. Alright, down it is! That was a very good down, everybody. Oh, we're back down here. Is there a save point? There is. Let's let's hit up that save point. Probably a good idea to save now that we've destroyed Cerberus forever and, and we'll never see him again. Wait. It's below me. Oops.
They put them below me. Maybe I should kill the enemies instead of running directly into them. It might be worth trying. You know, it might be a worthwhile thing to give a shot, to give a chance. It's right here. By the way, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all watching. I don't get as many viewers on Tuesdays than I do on the weekends, so... I appreciate you tuning in for a little one-hour stream. Just a little one-hour thing. Just a little hour of Castlemania. A little bit. Alright, here we go. What kind of pizza tonight? Um, Cinco's ordering. She's probably gonna get her favorite, which is extra cheese. Uh, onions. And some kind of meat. Usually pepperoni or something like that. At least I assume she's ordering. She didn't ask me to order, did she? Hold on. She didn't. Okay, she did not ask me to order. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, onions is onions is a highly underrated topping for pizza. Highly underrated. And I say that full well knowing it's a very common topping. It doesn't get enough respect. It simply doesn't. Watch out for these boneheads. Hmm. I don't know if I can trust that platform. Hold on, what's this? Uh, I don't know if I can do anything with this... ...death... ...death bottle. Yeah, I knew I couldn't trust that platform! Knew it. I will never trust again. Oh, don't mind if I do. This game, like, peppers out save points like it's fucking... Uh, ...lice at a... ...comic book convention. I'm sorry, I'll work on better... ...anagrams. Don't worry, I know that wasn't an anagram, I'm just being funny. Well, what, what could you replace the lice with? Um... Hmm... Good question. Uh, I'm gonna have to workshop that. I'm gonna have to just workshop that a bit. We're not at a point where it's ready to come back out yet. It's gonna have to gonna have to sit in the back burner. It's gonna have to workshop until it's ready to, to come back out. This game suffers a bit from Metroid 1-ism, where there's lots of, like, vertical corridors that look very, very samey throughout the whole- the whole climb. That was a big problem Metroid 1 had. Oh. oh. I'm seeing a bit of that here. Hopefully the game gets a little more varied a little later. Fucking gremlins, who put them here? Oh, careful. On the subject of game series, these seasons, I've never worked through all the way. Audience room. The only Metroid game I've ever completed are the Game Boy Advance 1s, Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission. I played a lot of the other ones, but I've never completed them, for the same reason I've never completed the other Castlevania games. I would put a few hours in, 
uh, finish up for the day and never come back. So at some point we're gonna have to rectify that. Yeah, Zero and- Zero Mission and Fusion are great, and I never understood the hate that Fusion got. Like, yes, it's a bit more linear than the other Metroid games, but it's still good, you know? It still has great- great level design, great enemies, great controls, great everything. So yeah, it, I, it is more linear, but perfectly good. Perfectly fucking fine. Out of the two, it's it's my favorite of the ones. Where the hell am I? I am so lost. Fusion got hate. Um, Fusion got some hate from Metroid fans for being linear. And for having, you know, for having Adam, you know, tell you where to go and everything. And like, I get it, it's less open than the other Metroid games, but I it didn't have a problem with it. I got double teamed by them skeletons. And I was complaining about this on Twitter earlier, but I was always disappointed that Samus's actual human body did not end up altered or dis disfigured or mutated after Metroid Fusion. Because the way the story is, is told, it makes it seem like Samus got fucked up. You know, the X invades her central nervous system. Her central nervous system. She gets infected with a parasite that infects her central nervous system. Like, they have to surgically remove pieces of the armor from her body. By all means, her body should be fucked up or mutated or something. She gets injected with a Metroid, you know, serum that also alters her body. She shouldn't be human anymore. And yet, for some reason, she's just a perfect blonde, you know... Perfect, boring... Boring... Bikini babe, still. I thought it would've been cool if maybe she had some, like, um... Transparent... Maybe if, like, some of her skin ended up replaced with, like, transparent Metroid skin. Or if she had, like... Or maybe she could also have, like, some of the Metroid teeth sticking out of various parts of her body. Like, maybe the bottom of her jaw... Of her jaw. Maybe sticking out of the sides of her arm. You know, something to show that she's been... She's been... Altered by the by this Metroid DNA that she the fuck that she's been fucked up. I thought that would be cool Because after what she been through she's really not fully human anymore Wow, we lost a bit of progress there. We'll just keep on keeping on So I thought that would have been cool But to be fair, I never liked her ultra blonde design either. I always liked her older designs and her Metroid Prime 1 design, where she actually looked like a human being instead of a blow-up doll. I think the thing... I like Metroid Zero Mission, but the thing... Uh, it's hard to forgive it for introducing Zero Suit Samus. I don't like her appearance as Zero Suit Samus, with the ultra-blonde hair and the, the blue suit that now gets all the attention instead of her actual, you know, normal power suit self, which was cool as shit. Now it's just generic blonde uh, bikini babe, and that's all anyone ever draws. It, it, I don't know, it, it irritates me. And maybe it shouldn't irritate me, but I don't know, it irritates me. I, I like when she was like a warrior and not a babe. No, she, by all means, she should be buff. She should be really tall. She should have, like... Well, I guess not not scars, but post-fusion she should definitely have scars. I don't know, I just find her Zero Suit design to be extremely boring, and it's disappointing. I, I know it's always been a thing where she, where she has less clothes when you beat the game, blah blah blah, and all that. But her design was never, you know, blonde bimbo. 
she was a brunette, or she had, like, neon green hair because NES palette or whatever, but... I don't know, I, I just think her, her current design is boring as hell. Uh, let's go this way. I liked the fusion suit because it was it was you know different. There was more organic parts to it. I thought it would it would have been cool to see a more of a slim sight a slim kind of suit like that become a normal for her, for Samus after fusion because of how she's been altered to be part Metroid and everything. But uh, th th there's some of that in Dread apparently, but you know there's some like muscly shit on her in Dread, but. It's still a bulky suit. Okay, let's see what this does. Whoa! Okay, there's like a pulse or something. It's not a big deal, I guess. I'm just happy that Dread appears to be a very good game. You know, that it's really good to see that Dread is actually a good Metroid game. Down. Oh, there's nothing up here. Down it is! I mean, Metroid Dread was always gonna be a 2D game. Like, Metroid Dread has been in development or in consideration one way or another for years and years and years. Well before the Switch, well before the Wii U. It's it's really good that um to see it finally come out and to actually be be handled by, you know. A good company. No, I've not played it myself. I've been watching Vinny, Vinny's playthrough of it. Um, I'm probably not gonna buy it anytime soon. I just don't feel like diving into a Metroid game right now. I feel like before I play Dread, I would want to play through most of the other Metroid games first, you know? Not that it's necessary. But that's just how I want to deal with it. Oh boy, what are we looking at here? Let's try to play this a Damn it! I was about to say, let's try to play this smart. That didn't work out. <laughs> let's kind of want to go down there. Yeah, let's fight our way down there a bit. Trying to toss another holy water. There we go. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Pizza Ozzy. I wouldn't be surprised if this song was from an older Castlevania game. It looks like Konami likes to do that. It's pretty cool. I didn't know it was from another game. It sounds good. I like it. Where is this? I'm just hoping I come across a save. Save room soon. Ooh. Electric skeleton. Dracula, sir. We need more minions to keep the Belmonts out. I would like a skeleton. Uh, sir, we already have skeleton. The skeleton will be yellow. Um. And the yellow skeleton. Will be electric. Sir, how does the skeleton generate electricity? It will generate it from its bones! Yes, sir, I'll get right on that. <laughs> the 
through my Dracula slowly devolving into Skeletor. <laughs> oh, oh. It's not intentional. <laughs> I never watched He-Man. <laughs> uh. Okay, I can't get up there. This is more of an exit, I think. So let's go to the left. Oh, I just realized it's 9 o'clock, goddamn. Um, okay, next save point will be the end of the stream, since we only go for one hour on Tuesdays. Hopefully it'll be right up here. Let's see, let's look at the map real quick. Uh, I bet it's in here. There we go. Alright. Drop that save, and let's drop a save state just in case. And there we go! Alright! That's our little hour-long mainstream for the day. Uh, we we'll started Castlevania Circle of the Rumbus. Um, that did not feel like one hour, not gonna lie, I was having a good time with that. Having a good time. Anyway, tune in on Saturday when we play more Resident Evil and Spider-Man 3. And then, of course, tune in on Tuesday, same time, when we play more Circle of the Moon. I'm going to go illegally emulate Pitfall for the Atari 2600 at 8K resolution. Mario. <laughs>